interesting getting over here and realizing what some of the bits that I've been ordering and getting on board a ship actually did and seeing why I needed 20 of them and not 12. Apart from that I suppose the best uh, the best moment was not very you'd probably agree was arriving in um, in Lisa Dilla which was a school where we're doing an installation and we arrived in the afternoon and we worked and we worked and then by night time, flick, the switch was on in the school for the first time. On came the lights. Unfortunately, the first thing that happened after that was on came the country music. <laughs> and then after that came the, the opening star attraction of the film night at Lisa Dilla School with, a, I know, 30 odd little kids enraptured by the, by the, showing of the Bourne ultimatum. Yeah, very good. I 
was your normal Gilbert Catholic Inwardly evil, outwardly plastic I was up in Darwin at this barbie I was drinking warm beer, eating salami I saw you and my soul Timor and um, this time what we were doing was particularly remote. We uh, did uh, four installations in places which are two hours or three hours further remote than a place which is about eight or nine hours drive out of Dili. So that makes them particularly remote and in fact a couple of good candidates for the worst road in the world. However, we got there, we had a magnificent view uh, getting there and back. We had the minor threat of being shot at by Indonesian troops on the way back, but that's a part of the um, fun of driving along the Indonesian border. We, um, we installed um, solar power systems into um, three, um, three medical clinics which are uh, remote from Swai, so remote that they have no fuel for the uh, generators, no form of electricity, no way of actually having either lights or medical instruments uh, after dark if they have problems. So those places now have a, um, a mains um, electricity supply which is capable of providing for most of the normal needs of a medical clinic and for the um, usually Cuban at the moment doctors who uh, they try to entice to live out there in the boondocks. So we've made it actually easier for them to have a doctor out in these remote places because these doctors now have lights. Uh, this is the second year which we've worked with um, a group of um, people from SWI and this year that they have gained enough confidence to uh, do systems really without much supervision on our part. There's a few things that, we, that they might get wrong from now and then, but by, by and large I think we're confident now that there's people in SWI who are capable of installing these systems. In fact, we're going to try this out by um, sending over a couple of systems um, shortly and get them to install them without us being there, which is when we'll really find out how much they've actually learned. <laughs> 